got Kalau, we've got Kareem, we've got Francesca, Rebecca, we've got Hills, and we've got myself. You know how this works. This is red zone number three. We do a nice, easy warm-up, two phases of work. This is what I call the hardest mix. So seriously, if you have got any knee issues or any issues with your lower extremities, it's very jumpy, it's very bouncy. Please, if in doubt, squat it out, take options. If I fail to give you an option that you like or you still can't do it, just do something else. You can kind of just do something, okay? Just feel that little bit of pocket of time. Now you're going to love this one. Francesca loves her Tuesday morning workouts at the best of times. You can take as many breaks as you like, but as always, I will give you two drinks breaks in the next 30 minutes. Let's do this. A nice, easy warm-up. This is a nice one, just to loosen everything up. Mainly focusing on your hips and knees and ankle areas. Give me a little squat here, and then push your knees back and lift your hips up behind you. Now when I say push your knees back, you're not pushing them back with your hands. You can rest your hands on your thighs, and that's all it is. This feels nice. How about you go a little quicker than that? So again, sit your hips down, and then shoot your hips up to the ceiling. As you lean forward, everyone can do this. Please have mercy on me. Okay, give me a triple pulse in that squat, and then shoot your hips up. Do it again now. So a little sit back, and then shoot your hips up behind you. I'm feeling loose already. At 9:30 a.m. in the morning, roll up to your body. Bring your feet a little closer together. It's lunge time. Right leg forward and then left leg forward. Start easy, big step forward to a long stride. And we're going to start with the of range of movement. So maybe you don't go too low into the lunge to start with. But as we start to get a little looser, we go zips and thighs. We start to get a little lower and maybe a little faster. Let's go. Please help me say. So a flat front foot, everything faces forward. And you're going to try and drive back off of your heel. When you're happy with that, reach your fingertips up to the ceiling, lift your chest a little higher, and drop that bent knee a little closer down to the floor. You got that, Rebecca? Yes, she has. Okay, let's go ahead and bring the feet close together. Try and keep your toes facing forward. I'm going to step to the right, and then step to the left. So both feet, toes forward. Get into the hip, and then we switch. I would gladly do it twice. It's always an obvious tip with the hip, but we're not really leaning forward too much, okay? How about a little quicker than that? Can you push your hip out? As you lengthen your inner thigh, try and unlock that hip as well. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Please help me say. Okay, check the palms. Take it up to the seams. Get you drop your shoulder in. Take the lunge to the side. And lift that palm up behind you. As high as it will go. So everybody's going to look a little different here. I'll show you the next move on the side profile. You can stay where you are. Right hand, left hand. Right foot, left foot. And the same order coming back in. I'm going to start really small. Fingers and thumbs. And the same with the feet, knees on the hips, flat feet, stand up. Now lead on your left hand. Pull back left foot. So you can keep it there. we go with a progression of flat hands, longer legs, step back in, stand up. Now with the left hand. Now you can keep doing this as well. You can even go quicker with the movement or an easy burpee. So jump out, jump in and stand up, so that's the easier variation. Or flatten your hands, longer legs. Either way, you got one more here. Stop, now we're going to start with the feet wide. Feet wide, watch. In, out. In, out. Quicker. Little finisher for you. We're going to try and get the heart rate up now. So start wide. Push off the outside foot and then just push the other foot out of the way. Anything you like with your arms, I like to use them to start to get me a little higher. Now when you sit back, sit your hips back, sit your weight into the heels. And then when you push up, 
roll through heel, up through toe. Now start to get a little bit higher, and then start to get low on the drop. Like I said, trying to get the heart rate up now, right? Yes, I'm breathing now. Hold. Take a moment. Breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay. So two phases of work. The first phase consists of five exercises, okay? Exercise number one is basic. It's what I like to say, lull you into a false sense of security. Phase one isn't too bad. Exercise number one, watch. Feet close together, leading on your right foot. Out, out, in, in. You know it was a box step or a V-step, but we're not gonna be doing this kind of stuff. You're just gonna keep it light on your toes, and you're gonna go as fast as you can. This is what we call recovery. This space in the music. So, if you get to this point, and you feel like you don't need the recovery, you're not working hard enough, okay? You should always feel like you need the recovery. Now in your recovery, you can do this. So bounce with me now. You can move, you can stand, but we never sit or lie down. Well, maybe Francesca does from time to time. She's not really a Tuesday person. The start of your feet together. Keep your light on your toes. Lead on your right foot. This is your right foot. You ready? As fast as you can. Let's go. Out, out, in, in. As fast as you can. So maybe some of you are here. Maybe some of you are here. But try and use your arms as well. So there's a little movement through the shoulder. Not through the elbow, okay? Keep going. Don't worry, your next hit is a little shorter. This one's 40 seconds. Gonna give you a 20 second recovery. And then we do a shorter interval of 20 seconds. But it's gonna be harder. Keep going. That's important to get the technique right on this next one. For 20 seconds rest, watch first. Chest forward, touch your shoulders, long back. You're gonna drop down with long legs, push off your hands and touch your shoulders. And then, you're gonna do as many as you can do in 20 seconds. Landing on your toes, chest forward. There's gonna be a tip in the hip, so not really rounding through the back. Ready? Go. Touch, touch. So maybe you take your time, you get the long legs, you get your balance, and then you start to speed it up a little bit. So it's only 20 seconds and you're nearly there. You are nearly there. Go on, kill out. Stop, 20 seconds rest. Watch. Hands under my shoulders. Right, left, right, left. Keep leading on the right. Out, out, in, in, okay? Keep leaning forward so the shoulders are over the wrist. Keep your hips flat and keep your belly pulled in. It's not this and it ain't that. It's this. A long, strong plank. You can take the time. I like a little bit of pace to go with mine. Right leg. You want to work harder? Go wider. But you've got to keep leaning forward. So we're depressing the shoulder blades down the ribs. We're drawing the navel into the spine to lock on those abs. Lock on to that lower back. It's a great call on this one. Hang in there. It's like everybody's disappeared. Oh wait, I can see Kalau and I can see Corinne. Francesca's blending in with a lounge. I think Hill has actually just gone. Stop, another 20 second hit for you. I want your glutes under your knees. Off the toes here, just push off with them. Option, if you've got bad knees, bottom half pole squat, or where you need to be, digging through the heel. Otherwise, full variation, get your heels off the floor, stay on the toes, chest up. 20 seconds, go. So just a little bounce up and down. So you're gonna feel a nice burn come through the quads. If you do feel those knives in the knees, please stand up and take the option of a squat and dig it into the heels. Oh, there's her, she's showing herself. I got potential. Okay, let's keep it on the right side. Stop, 20 seconds recovery. Right foot forward, everything faces forward. You can take your time to load and then you're gonna push up you can reach with either one, you can reach with both arms. It's all about how low can I get. You can even put this knee down. And then from that position, jump up, lift that knee, and we set. Not about how many reps. 
okay? Are you ready? Let's smash it. Straight up. Reset it. Straight up. There's going to be a little bit of rotation up here, but all this should be pretty much facing forward the whole time. Don't rush. It's not about how many. So this is your halfway house. They were your five exercises. Can you hear something? That 10 second counter. That doesn't mean stop. Keep going. Higher, Corrine, higher. Higher. Okay, check this out. You're gonna run with your feet out wide. When I say right, when I say left, when I say forward, when I say up. If I say nothing, you keep your feet wide, you keep your knees lifting, you bounce off your toes, and you're moving your arms. A wide run. So let's get into that wide run now, shall we? So 40 seconds, and then we'll hold a plank. That sounds fun, doesn't it? You ready? One. Right. Right. Forward. Right. Forward. Up. Left. Left. Right. Left. Left. Up. Forward. Up. Forward. Come down here for a moment. Hands under your shoulders. Lean forward. Flat hips. If you've got to come down to your knees, feel free to stay here, okay? Totally up to you. If you've got to take an option, take one. Otherwise, push those knees back. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. And suck your abs in as tight as you can. You can even feel a little contraction down the lats. As you depress the shoulder blades down your back. That wasn't too bad, was it? I know what you're thinking. Can we stand up now? Yes, you can. Because we're going to do the whole thing again. Five exercises, then a little play at the end. So check. Feet close. This time, left, right, left, right. We're still in phase number one. So again, we've got 40 second, 20 second, 40 second, 20 second, 40 second, then that little game at the end. Woo! But you know it now. So it's easier now, right? Because you know what's coming. Does that help? I don't know. So leading on your left leg. Feet close. Let's go. On your toes. Move fast or fast. So look at the shoulders. You're moving the shoulders, not the elbows. Uh, you laugh. A lot of people do that. Next time you do sports day. Oh, I can't wait for sports day. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Move those shoulders. Go on the back heat. Stop! I'm going to face the other way, but it's the other side. So again, look. I'm on my toes. I start facing forward. Take yourself a little focal point. Every time you come back up, look up. Look up. And then if I ask you to freeze, could you freeze without doing this? You ready? Full 20 seconds. So go get it. If you've got to take the time, please take the time. Once you've got long legs, once you've got your balance, that's when you speed it up, okay? Go, Francesca. Great technique. Well done. Okay, set this one up again perfectly. So feet close, hands to the shoulders, lean forward. This time, left leg. Left, right, left, right. Once you've got the foot pattern, don't lose it. Just speed it up without adjusting anything else. You've got to stay long and strong, okay? And it's not out, in, out, in. Left, right, left, right. Let's go! So what you're holding here really is a 40 second plank. A 40 second plank, but we're walking the plank. Or are you running the plank? I'm gonna be honest, if you go faster, it actually helps. 
and she feels better. Her does for me anyway. Let me know your thoughts about the exercise. I don't generally want to know your thoughts. It's weird. Keep going! Stop! This is a set of position for the frog squat again, chest face forward. If you want to this time when you bounce in, you can take it side to side, you can take it front to back, or you can even move around your room. If you get the pains here, I do from time to time, gonna be honest. You might want to stay here in the pole squat. You ready? Go. So I keep saying, if I'm giving you an option like a pole squat and it's still too much, just do something else. Just do something else, okay? You only have 20 seconds. So you better be moving. Corinne's going around her mat, her rectangular mat, as is Francesca. I think Francesca's mats are a lot smaller than Corinne's though. Okay, check. Left leg forward, drop down, and fire up. So we're digging through the heel. As you push up, you're rolling from heel through toes, lifting the knee. I like to lift my left arm. You can lift any arm you like. And you're trying to leap up off that front leg, okay? Now, if you want to disengage before you jump up, put that knee down. You can do this. You ready? Go. Reset. Feet wide enough so you've got great balance. You walk at a tight rope, you're not going to balance. So always hip to shoulder width apart as you reset that position, okay? So from here, you drop down, you reach up as you lift that knee. You reset and you go again. Reset every rep. Don't rush. It's not about how many. It's not Easter eggs. Keep going. Everyone's looking good on this one. I mean, they've been looking good on all of them, obviously, all of them. On all of them. Check! Running on the spot, left, right, up, forward, okay? If I don't say anything, keep running. Keep running. It's a wide one and just a little lift of your feet, okay? We're not going high knees here. Not going like the crazy frog, okay? So you know it. 40 seconds. I'll tell you what, after this, I'm about to give you a drinks break. Drinks break. Oh, they're going already. One, left, right, up, left, left, forward, forward, right, one. Up, left, right, up, forward, right, left, forward, up, run, right, right, forward, left, up, left, up, forward, stop. Drinky break, everybody. Take one. Take two. That was frantic, wasn't it? Almost confused myself. I'm going to say it again. Any issues or any other issues, if you've got to pull back, please pull back. Remember, some things are 30 seconds. If you can only go for 10 seconds and then you've got to pull back to something else, totally fine. It's you versus you, not Rebecca versus Corrine, okay? You versus you. Now, you've only got three exercises. The first exercise is 30 seconds. Watch, I'm pushing off both feet, right knee forward, left knee forward, right knee forward, left knee forward. Option, right knee forward, left knee forward. Option, High knee one, lifting your arms. 30 seconds of split knee jumps. Isn't easy though. So how many you got? Push off both feet. Let's go. Now look, you can bounce as many times as you have to in between. To reset that next split up. Watch my back leg, buddy. It kicks in. So I'm engaging the hamstrings. As I'm firing my hip flexors and my abs. Heels let a hair down for this one. Don't blame your heels. What is he over here for? To demonstrate the next one. 
Check, I want you facing forward. That's the whole point of the exercise. I want a frontal plane movement, so a lateral movement. Knees come up, go as far as the space you got. Lift the inside knee. So knees come up, pop the arms, lift your inside knee. We're hopping, hopping mad. Let's go! So this side, I'm gonna lift my, your left knee. Over this side, you lift your right knee. You're hopping on the outside foot. If you don't wanna leave the floor, come off the heel, okay? Focus on not turning your body. Face forward, run sideways. Wanna get used to this lateral movement. So if you've got a narrow room, I want you to change it now, like Francesca just, just, just did, and use that long bit. You get a bit more range of movement, yeah? Queen didn't listen to that. It doesn't matter. This is 40 seconds, by the way. You want to do a 20 second one? Come down here with me, watch. Every time you push up, you're gonna lift your left arm. You're gonna lift your left arm. And you're gonna keep on lifting the left arm. When you get tired, on your knees, you keep squeezing up the back of the shoulder and retracting that shoulder blade. You ready? 20 seconds, let's go. Drop, squeeze up. Without rotation or limited rotation, so you've gotta put the knees down to stay square. Please do that. Are you feeling bulletproof right now? Do that again. 30 second hit. So look, I'm bouncy, bouncy on my trumpet, and then I, uh, whoop, and then I, uh, whoop, and then I, uh, whoop. You can use your arms, gather some momentum, like you're grabbing hold of someone, get them in the clinch, and boom, in their stomach. I know you want to do it again. If you want to go continuous, go continuous. 30 seconds, so you can do this. But once you start to lose technique, come back into that bounce. When you've had enough, high knee one. What's your heart rate? What are you feeling like right now? You'll know when you stop, I guarantee it. Right on, is that heel coming up? Or are we starting to lose technique here? Talking to my zoomers. Hang in there. I'm going to lose myself in the mirror. Okay, check. If you want, to progress this exercise. How about when you get over here, you tuck. And when you get over here, you tuck again. If you're up for the tuck jump, go for it. Breathe. But if you don't love it, remember, it's an inside knee lift, outside leg hop. Maybe those split knee jumps took it out of you in your legs are feeling pretty flushed right now. What we got. Make sure if you are going for the tuck jump, you're not crunching here. Try and stay lifted. And a tuck jump is when your knees tuck up. You don't flick your heels back. Not on Mary Poppins. Tuck. Get your knees up. Not about how high I can go, but how high I can get my knees. Okay? Stop! 20 second hit. So again, how many can you do just lifting the right arm but staying square to the floor before you think, you know what? I think it's time I come down to my knees. Press ups, triceps, anterior delts and pecs. And when we lift, posterior delt, rhomboids, mid upper traps. You ready? Lift the right arm. If you want to demo, staying on my knees. I can demo better that way. But do as many as you can do on your toes, okay? Because there's no rotation. None of this. We're not opening. We're trying to stay square to the floor as we hit those back muscles. Stop! Look at my feet. Do you remember this? In, out. In, out. Watch this. In, out, squat, jump. In, out, squat, jump. This is one rep. That was two reps. How many reps can you do? Figure it out. Count your reps. 40 seconds. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember a little squat. Sit the hips back. Let the knees come forward so we can jump up. Keep counting. In, out. In, out. Not out, in. Not in, out, in, out, in. Jump. 
in, out, squat, jump. One continuous fluid movement. Sounds easy, right? Unless you've never done it before. 10 seconds, people! You know what you need right now? No, drink straight. So go get one. Beautiful job, right on. Take a breath, take a sip. Nice. So hold up. We did that twice. We're done. Oh no, we do this one three times. So we've got one more lap around of those three exercises. And then we're going to do that challenge again where you get to beat your last rep count. So 30 second interval, 40 second interval, 20 second interval, followed by that 40 second blitz. Yes, that's it. It's that two minutes and 10 seconds of work. Not about how many. Quality over quantity. You ready? Four, three, two, Rip it. Okay, so you're bending your knees as you land as well. So just think about the up, think about how you're landing. When you load, you can really let go. Load, keep loading. And use your arms, Rebecca. Stop! Face forward. High knee lateral run, one. Tuck. High knee lateral run. Tuck, okay? Again, not about how many. Inside knee hop as the option. Go. So pushing, hopping on the outside foot, lifting your inside knee. Or tuck jump with Rocky. Sideways lean. I must be getting tired. Too much demoing. It's that one class of the week where I get to just tell you what to do. I didn't have to sweat. I didn't have to breathe. Why am I sweating? Why am I breathing? Go on, Hill. Last round. Stop. Okay, because it's the last round and we've done one side, we've done the other side. How about this time? You alternate. Now look, if this is too easy, but this is too much, take your feet wider. By taking your feet wider, you give yourself a wider tripod, therefore it's easier to stay stable. Let's go. Lift, 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 lift. So that wider platform, yeah? It's gonna hold you more stable, so then you won't have to do this. Put your last set, I'll give you that one. You can do their feet together. Too late! How many reps did you get last time? Versus how many you can get this time? That's gotta be a fair test. So, if you're getting lower this time, you're probably not gonna get as many reps. So be honest with yourself, make sure you get in that same range. And I say if you're getting lower, most of you probably won't get as low to beat the rep count. So try and make it a fair test. Same width, same depth, same height, just a whole lot quicker. You ready? Move. One, two, I gave myself an extra half a second. In, out, squat, jump. Little squat, little jump. Keep going. It's a 40 second blitz, sir. I know what you're thinking, Francesca. Let's go. It's time for a drink yet. Not yet. Turn up, turn up. Do it, do it, do it. Let's go. Go harder, go harder, go harder, go harder, go higher, go higher. Go Don't stop the madness. Turn up, turn up. Stop the madness. Hold. You can take a little sip now if you want one. I know I said two drinks straight, so I gave you three. But we are finished. All we need to do now is move. Groove. So as soon as you're back in, 
just join me for a little rotation from here to here. Untangle your spine, free up your hips because it feels really good. Now look at your right foot. I want your toes forward and your right foot isn't moving now. You're going to take your left foot all the way around and stay here. So you're going to feel it through the outside of this back thigh and into that hip. Try and look to the back of the room as you can, if you can. Let's rotate the other way. Now don't move your left foot. Try and get your toes facing forward, Looking but keep that rotation. And then cross this right foot over. So let's bring it down the outer side of that back leg again. Have a little hamstring release here. Sit on the back bent leg. Let the front leg run straight. Feel it through the hamstrings. A little bit of calves as well. The toes are up. For some people that causes a little bit of irritation down the leg or in the lower back. So feel free to take your toes down if you need to. And then grab the same foot. For a little quad release. Knees together. Heel in. Push that knee down. Front of the thigh. So we can get closer. Big step back, back heel down, lunge forward, reach up and lean over. So we're feeling this one all the way down and into the calf as well. And then we drag that leg a little closer. Bring both knees to the flexion, heel down again, but this time hip goes out, reach over. So we still got a nice calf stretch, but now from a flexed knee position. Two parts of the calf muscle. Got so much anger and then switch. Tilt for the hip, not rolling to your back. Again, you've got the option of toes down or up. And then go ahead and grab that foot for your quads. Balance. Feel free to hold on to anything around you, maybe a small child. You've got to walk, walk my, my way. way. Walk my way, walk my way, walk, walk my way. way. So we can get closer, closer. Walk Do you take that one back behind? Back heel, lunge way. forward, walk reach up, walk my way. lean over. So we can get closer, closer. So I hope you had a good workout. I'm talking to Francesca. Dragon, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Back heel down. Part of the soleus. Lean over so we can get, get closer, closer. From here, you can march. It's like aerobics. You're going to get a chance to do an ETM qualification. That's as complicated as it gets. Bring your feet close together. Pull up under your legs for a little release into that lower back. Bend your knees, touch your toes. Roll up and thank you very much. Drink more water. Keep moving. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.